Hey, it's Joe Lyons from The Automator, and this is an extract from our Intro to VS Code course. The course is mainly sent around using VS Code because IDEs are incredibly powerful, and VS Code is the Ferrari of editors. It's by far the most popular uh, IDE out there right now. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. If you like it, you can. Uh, we have the course, I believe, is over four hours long, and of course, we have a double your money back guarantee, so there's absolutely nothing to risk if you want to try it. Hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy, learn something here, please like the video. It really helps us out. Have a great day. Cheers. One of the best features that I've used with uh, VS Code is the feature of comparing two files. Now, this file comparison that I'm going to show you in a bit is something that we've had some other tools, external tools that did this for a long time, like uh, WinGrep, if I remember right, did that, WinDiff. Um, file diff, those are tools in which you gave it a list of files and it would tell you the differences between the two files. Now, remember that I mentioned that VS Code has very close integration with Git. Git as a source control management um, allows you to keep track of the changes in files. And I'm not really sure if this is implemented using some of the the comparison mechanisms that Git has, but what I do know is that it is already implemented in VS Code, and the way how it's implemented is really great. So let's see, in here I just noticed in one of my folders that I have a few files here, and at least these two here, they look that they're similar. They are, they belong to Joe, and if I remove the line wrap, you will see that those are TSV files. They're very long. And I don't know if they are the same or not. So let me just open one in here, open the other one here, Let's remove the line wrapping. And yeah, I will not go manually look at these two files and see if something changed, especially since they contain some binary data out there and I cannot verify each character line by line, you know, that would take a long, long time. So if I try to compare them, it's going to be tedious. In VS Code, you can select two files. So you select them in the file explorer like this. You right click on them and you have the option to compare selected. Now this tool will very quickly tell you if they are the same or not. And right now I look at them and I know they are the same. Why? Because no red lines were shown. So you will see that everything in here, especially in the minimap, is grayed out. So that guarantees that those two files are exactly the same. Now let's see if I can find two files that are not the same. So I right click on this, compare the two, and well, it's working, so something, there you go. As you can tell, now we have some sections in red, some sections in green, and that tells you that some things are not the same in both files. So let me just remove the line wrapping. And with the line wrapping removed, I can definitely tell which lines are exactly the same and which lines are not the same. So this line right here, line number four, seems to be exactly the same in both files. Same with line 13. And in lines two, three, and so on, what we have is that there is a difference. And the difference is that something was removed from this file and added to the other file. So usually green means that it was added and red means that it was removed. There are some different characters out there. Now, I can, in theory, scroll to the side and find out exactly where that happened. Now, let me see if I can find a simpler example so that I can show you what that looks like. So let's create two new files. Let's just save those create two new files, and I would say in this one, number one. So now those two files, I'm just gonna go ahead and compare them. And as I mentioned, 
Here, notice that uh, the way how I selected the files added this syntax writer with the one to the left side and the syntax writer without it on the right side. I can swap that if I wanted because this way it would make a little bit more sense. Well, in here, whatever this little red, darker red shade is, let me see if I can make it bigger. There we go. Whatever that darker red is, something happened there. And I can look at the other side and see a darker green. That's what was added, you see? So not only I can tell that the two lines are different for whatever reason, but I can tell what is the difference. And if I swap this out, it would be the same. So it tells me this one was removed when comparing it to the other file. And where was it removed? In that location. So I can very quickly tell what the difference is between files. And this file comparison thing, um, it saves me a lot of a lot of time because many times I just wanted to, yeah, like this, we keep older versions of certain files. And if I want to verify, if I want to restore something from that file, I just look at the two files, see the comparison and say, oh, this is the last thing that I changed. Let me copy that and restore it if I wanted to. So file comparison, great tool. And that same functionality that I showed you is built into the Git source control that is integrated with VS Code. I'm going to show you about that later on.